Hello everyone, it's summer. It's summer. It's summer. Sunglasses, ice lollies, ice cream, no more ice cream. And of course, lots of lovely, beautiful, summery sunshine weather in nests. Oh. Oh. It's not the yeah. air. Summer. Yep, summer's finally arrived in the UK. Well, technically anyway. And I'm now back home for the university holidays. Since I've been home, I've been really, really busy doing my local community radio show on uh, Meridian FM, busy doing shows on Wednesdays and Thursdays, and then also doing my specialist indie rock show, Fifty Shades of Grey's Mark, um, between 10 and midnight every Sunday evening, which has been a blast. Basically, I choose a festival to preview each week, and then I have other features like Band Wars, Album of the Week, and then Grey's Mark's giveaways, which is like um, free music downloads which you can get online of cool new tracks up and coming. Or at least I like to think they're cool anyway. Episodes of Fifty Shades of Grey's Mark can okay, be found on the Mixcloud page, which I'll put a link to down below. Or of course you can just listen in if you feel like it. You never know, you might actually enjoy it. So yeah, that's another way of me saying that I'm as busy as ever. I thought it was time for a quick uh, walkthrough update, and I thought, why not show my cheeky face this time? Add another dimension to it, like, yes, he's here in 3D. Not really, can't touch my face or anything like that. Well, I know some of you probably want to. Yeah, that's you in particular, you right there. Yeah, don't pretend you don't want to. So, All of the Phoenix is done story-wise. Woo! But of course, it wouldn't be a proper walkthrough if I didn't uh, get all the extras, all the little side quests, you know, play all the games, there's so many to play. So I think overall it's going to take now about... Two weeks, roughly? A couple of weeks? That is what two weeks is, isn't it? Yeah. After I've finished um, the walkthrough completely, um, I'll have like a sort of week off from the series, as it were. Not a week off from YouTube completely, just a week off from that sort of, from the main storyline, the main game um, series. And then after that week off, I'll then finally start Half-Blood Prince, which you're already asking me about, but now at least you know. So you haven't got to keep asking me in the comments, okay? Okay, okay, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Harry Potter, Half-Blood Prince, probably will be starting until around 26th of August at the earliest. I know that might seem like a long way away, but trust me, it'll be worth the wait. But I do have some good news regarding Harry Potter Lego years 5 to 7. I will finally be starting it next Monday, the 12th of August, at some point in the evening. It'll be like sometime between 6 and 7 in the evening. There you go then, you have a date. You can now set your watches, get your sundials out, sundials? And basically start celebrating. Harry Potter Lego Years 5 to 7 is finally coming. So yay, more brick action. Also, on another note, I hope you are enjoying the new Skyrim series. It is a new style of video, but I'm always looking to expand my channel in terms of content, you know, exploring different avenues, as it were. I'm also very conscious of the fact that the Harry Potter gaming series, in terms of my walkthroughs, will one day come to an end. I'll run out of games to do eventually. But I want my channel to live beyond that. I don't, I don't want it just to be the Harry Potter tribute channel, even though it sort of is. So yeah, please do give Skyrim a chance. It is a bomber of a game as well, so what's not to like? Hopefully I'll be doing some more games in this style as well later on, so who knows? There has been a few suggestions to do um, Chamber of Secrets again on PS1, seeing as I did Philosopher's Stone on PS1. Logically, people think that must mean I'm gonna do Chamber of Secrets at some point. That's a different matter though. The thing with Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone on the PS1 that my original walkthrough was such bad quality. Have you, have you seen it? I have, it's, it's embarrassing. Well at the time it was adequate, but seeing how far I've come since then, you know, I can't imagine going back to the webcam now. And it just felt like, seeing as it's a classic game for me as well, I felt like I should do a, a, a walkthrough in better quality. I know the easy cap isn't perfect, but at the same time, Chamber of Secrets walkthrough is in decent enough quality for you to watch it and enjoy it. But one idea that was suggested to me was um, doing Chamber of Secrets PS1 as a speed run, to just literally going as fast as I can through the game, seeing how long it takes, just going from start to finish as fast as I possibly can, as quickly as I can make Harry run against his will over flaming death traps and through cupboards and all sorts. <laughs> I remember getting my easy cap for the first time, having an actual capture card, getting it installed, getting it all set up. I just remember being like, POWER! So yeah, Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets, PS1, speed one. Let me know in the comments what you think about that, guys. That's pretty much it from what I wanted to give for an update. Apart from the small matter of Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire bonus part, which I meant to make a year ago. 
sometime soon? Ah, oh, I'm big you too, I do love you. Oh, another quick note, I'm going to see Lion King in the West End tomorrow. I am so, so excited for it. Seriously, it's gonna be the most amazing thing. I, I might actually cry. If, if it's that emotional, I'm already gonna cry when Ben Mufasa dies. That's a s standard behavior for Lion King. I'm just so excited to see it. Words cannot even describe. Well, actually, no, they probably will be able to. I'm gonna try to anyway, in another vlog. I'll let you know how it goes. See you guys soon.